When the housing market dried up a few years back, Mike Blau decided to drown his sorrows in alcohol. So he purchased some grapevines, attended a few classes at the University of Missouri, channeled his grandfather's winemaking skills, and opened Seven Springs Winery, the destination guide's best winery on the lake. Something different than the water bars, something different from some of the restaurants that are down here. I want to have a place where people could go, sit, relax, enjoy some wine. This is 0.03% residual sugar, which means very, very little sugar was added to make this wine. I absolutely love this place. The wine is phenomenal. The food is excellent. Seven Springs sits on 160 acres of rolling hills between Camdenton and Osage Beach in Lake of the Ozarks. It's the same kind of land that helped Missouri become the nation's second largest wine producing state prior to prohibition. Last year, Seven Springs harvested 20 tons of vineyard grapes from its seven and a half acres, sold 16, and kept four. The vineyard produces Norton grapes on another three acres. This will be our first year of harvest on our Norton. The Norton I'm actually going to take and make into a port wine because the grapes are going to be young. In addition to the wines they produce from their own grapes, Seven Springs attaches its name to everything from a Pinot Noir to a Chardonnay to a Sangria. Great for summertime, out on the boat, sitting on the dock, having a glass of wine. Very light, easy to drink. <laughs> Guests of the vineyard get three complimentary wine samples, but may choose to pay $7 for a Seven Springs glass and a more thorough sampling of their wines. They'll teach you how to smell the wine, how to, what the bouquet means, what the legs mean. This is so good. I love dry red wine. Right now, I'm currently bottling a dry vignol out of this same vintage. And one of the things that, about that is it's going to be like a fruity, dry wine. And that's not a characteristic usually. Usually when you have a dry wine, you don't have the fruit to it. To a sommelier, what that's going to mean is a light green hue is going to indicate that this is probably more of a sweeter or fruity wine. It pairs up excellently with spicy food. Is it? If you like spicy food, the sweetness and the carbonation will take the heat right off your palate. And one of my favorite things here is the spicy shrimp and crab bisque. Ooh. Very good with this. Understanding the relationship between food and wine, Blyle went out and hired himself a young chef with an experienced palate. So I mean, right when you throw the burger up there and hit it with Pinot, it just it just gives off this like aroma as it enters out. And of course, it also goes with our um, onions and mushrooms reduced in uh, Seven's Red Heaven and with mozzarella cheese on top. Rather than having like thicker slices, something that's kind of chewy, I like I like this rustic look. You know that it's like it's like messy, but it's it's supposed to be that way. Two Seven Heaven paninis and one black and blue. Turkey, a chipotle cream cheese spread um, with tomatoes, onions, and bacon, and mozzarella cheese. I didn't want to get into doing fried foods or any type of food that you would commonly find at a regular bar restaurant. Amazing food. Delicious wine. And transportation, thanks to Mike's dad, Jim, who, when he's not working the vines, is picking up wedding parties and bachelorette parties and other visitors who might not want to drive home. I'm really the outdoor flunky and the bus driver. And that's what we're here for, for them to have a good time. And it's working, whether sitting on the patio sampling wines or even craft beers. Very easy drinking beer with a high alcohol content. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of fun. Love the view, love sitting out on the patio any time of the year. Missouri wines are phenomenal. We can compete with California grapes all day long. It's just a matter of being able to educate the public to be able to get that experience out there. It's just a wonderful, wonderful place to be. Cheers.